good day this is great tech advances in 2013 and in this video i'm going to show you how to input the wind loads on a typical steel structure in this video we are going to three examples the first one we are going to see how to input a distributed load on the roof that we can calculate by hand and then just put the load distributed the second one we are going to use the same part and we are going to use the automatic uh, wind loads and in the third part we are going to do the automatic wind loads for all the building as you can see in this structure we, ha we don't have uh, surrounded walls uh, the item we are going to use here is the wind walls, this one here, that are not rigid for the structure and has no self weight. Well, in the first part we are going to input a distributed load. So the first thing we are going to do is to create a wind wall element in the part we want to introduce this load I click under and now I have to make sure the span direction is uh, in the direction I want so I can see here those arrows so I have to choose the correct span direction I want them to I want the, the loads to go to these horizontal beams here on the roof so this direction as well. Next, I have to create a case family uh, for wind. And here I have to create a planar load and I introduce it in the endpoints of the on the, on the wind wall. I click and I uh, I can see this planar load is is half to newton per meter so it, it is well also now I have to introduce this load in the combination I have uh, by now I have no combinations I could do this manually uh, for example I know the dead loads are, are the, the number 4 life loads are the 6 and the wind loads are the number five. So I just have to uh, input here the numbers, uh, the coefficient for the dead loads. This one is four and a half for the six. And for example, nine for the wind. Another thing I could do, and I used to do it, is with this one, and use the simplified combinations generated automatically. Here, I can see a lot of things, but the one that interests us here is wind loads on a structure, automatically calculated and generated. So I automatically generate, I want to date it, and here it is, I have the different combinations ok now we've got all clean up and the second part is about creating an automatic load so the first thing we have to do is to create the wind wall here and up enter have to do the same I did before. I have to choose the correct span direction. It happens sometimes. Now I have to 
to create it automatically automated generation and as you can see there is many type of, of loads here in fact uh, this automatic generator is generating loads and uh, with loads for all the directions so it's creating uh, uh, wind direction like this this one this one and this one as you can see here in x uh, positive x negative x positive y and negative y and as you can see there is also an s and a b well, this is about the the, co the pre pression coefficient, and we are going to see it more close. Uh, we have to isolate the loads we want to see. So I'm going to take all of them and make it invisible, and now we are going one by one. And now we can see that there is this typical distribution of the loads we can mm, go and click one of them each one and we can see that the program has automatically uh, bind uh, load as we would do uh, with the code and it has created all these parts uh, in the
everything is clean up again and now we are going to the third part of this video and we are going to do all the surrounding walls and roof so we have to do all the wind walls outside the building